Hi guys. So today I woke up, um, let me say even yesterday, today, I woke up and I had this word in my heart every time, like in my mind, and it couldn't even go away. Yes, it's not a new verse in the Bible. It's a uh, uh, First Corinthians uh, 2, 9. And the word kept on coming into my mind and I was like, what is going on? Like, what could be happening? And all of a sudden, I just remembered a couple of years, a couple of months. And as those who follow me on YouTube, they know I've been struggling with um, depression, anxiety. And this morning, that word, since yesterday and today, I just felt today that I should share it. Uh, yesterday, I shared with two friends as we were praying. And it's a word that has kept coming into my mind. I didn't even know where the the, the verse comes in in the Bible until like, I, I looked and I have heard the, the verse, but... I didn't even know like of head where the verse comes in the Bible, which chapter, which book. And it's God speaking. Those who ask if God speaks, God really speaks. And <clears throat> I've been praying, have been um, asking God to forgive me and I've really been seeking God because this is not the life that I want. This is not the promise that God has promised me. I know that. That depression is not my portion. Anxiety is not my portion. And since I know that and I've been telling the devil that I know what he is doing. He's just trying to pull me down because he knows there is something powerful inside me. Since the word of God is telling us that he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power. I've been claiming that power for a while. And I remember I talked to somebody from our church and she's a lovely lady. And... I asked her that I feel like I don't even know my purpose. I don't know what God intends for me. And we talked for almost an hour with that lady. She gave me scripture. And there is this one thing that stuck with me. Because she told me not to look for my will or my purpose or but to look for, to want to know God's will and what God wants me to do for him. And that thing has been like a game changer for the last one month. It's been something that has kept on reminding me to be patient. And then now, since yesterday, this word came to me that... I'm going to see things that my eyes or eyes have not seen. Neither ears have heard. That's the word that God has been giving me. And because yesterday I just felt like uh, doing Thanksgiving. I did not want to complain. I've been uh, avoiding to complain to God and praise him and thank him. Sometimes I get those triggers and things to make me feel like, what am I doing? But I, since I've learned that being with God, I have to humble myself. I cannot fight with God. You know what happened to Jacob when he was fighting with God? You know, I do not want to fight with God. 
I did not want to go to him with anger. Just because of what I'm going through. Or just because of the things that are happening in my life. Even if I die like today, God will remain to be God. Even if he doesn't heal me, God remains to be God. Even if nothing happens or nothing changes, he will still remain to be God. Like I'm not doing him any favor. And why I'm sharing these messages because I want to encourage somebody out there who is feeling like, I don't know the end of this. I cannot even connect dots to know where, why, and what, and when. I just want to encourage you today that there is a God who is going to surprise you with miracles. Why you woke up today, I believe that God has a purpose for you. And that's why he is keeping you. It's just a story that he is creating for you. It's just a story so that when you come out, people will see you and they'll be like, oh my goodness, there is God. Look at her. Look at where he was. Look at what was happening to his life. Because even when I look at the people in the Bible, look at Paul who has written so many books his life, he used to kill Christians. He used to boil them. And you'd think, would God forgive such kind of a person? And what I'm learning in this journey is that I wish I can be able to walk in his walk. I wish I can be able to emulate him. Jesus Christ in everything that he, he did and he does. He was humble, less judgmental, loving, caring. When he talked, he minded of his words. I feel loved by God. I feel loved. I want to confess today that I feel loved. And you that is there, seek the face of God. And everything that you feel like it's not making sense in your life, it will make sense. To tell you the truth, life has not been making sense for me for a couple of years. But I can see God. Because at the end of the tunnel there is light keep seeking the light of god some battles that we are fighting they are not of blood and fresh but are spiritual battles of principalities arm yourself arm yourself with the word of god with peace and righteousness and God will show up for you invite him ask him to be with you even those days that you do not have words worship even those days that you feel like you don't know what to say thank him for the things he has done for the things he has not done and the things that he is going to do because he's never late it is us that gets to an extent of seeing as if things like maybe my friends are doing better than me i don't know when i'll get out of this by the time maybe uh, I, I get to be uh, on my feet or everything my friends will be way back way ahead of me but remember in god one day is like a thousand years. And a thousand years can be a day in him. 
keep trusting. Do not lose hope. Keep trusting. Keep trusting. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done in my life. I want to pray for the person that is watching me and listening to me. That Jehovah God, you may touch their heart. That Lord, when they seek you, open up your arms for them, Jehovah Lord. Because that's who you are. That you, you have never failed. And you're not going to start. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us who you are and loving us even when we don't deserve it. Lord, forgive us. And show us the way. May your spirit always walk with us. In our decision making, in everything that we do, we ask you, Lord, to hold our hands. We thank you for who you are. We bless your name. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to me. And thank you for watching this. May we be blessed together. Shalom. Thank you.